All right, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two different vectors together. All right, so I'm gonna add two different vectors together. And so what I have here is I have uh, the first vector. Um, I like to give my vectors names, and if you do that, it's a little bit easier to keep them straightforward. So let's call this uh, let's call this vector one, and we'll call this one vector two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is the first step is you're gonna wanna draw the vectors out. And so when you draw these vectors, just to make sure you get your uh, directions correct, um, we're gonna draw them on a nice grid here. Okay, we're gonna make two grids for each of the vectors, and that way we can keep them very straight. Okay, so the first vector, um, we're gonna give it a green color. And so the first vector is three meters east. So let's say one, two, three meters east. And so here we got three meters east. So I'm gonna draw that vector out and make sure you uh, draw them as arrows. And so this one's pointing east. And because remember that we have uh, north, east, south, and west. So that vector is, is directly east and its uh, value is three meters. And the value of that vector is also called its magnitude. Now don't forget that, that's magnitude. And so the second vector is at five meters at 10 degrees uh, north of east. Okay, so here we have east, here we have north, here we have south, and here we have west. And so the second vector here, I'm gonna give it a, a green color, a red color. Um, so this is at 10 degrees north of east. So if it's north of east, that means it starts at east and it goes 10 degrees north from east. So we start at east here and we're going 10 degrees north. So I'd say about there. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but just to, we're just ballparking it here. And so there's our vector and we're gonna put the five meters along there because that's the magnitude of that vector and that's at 10 degrees. And so an important thing to note about the second vector is vector two is a two dimensional vector. And a two dimensional vector, you have to treat them a little bit special. All right, so two dimensional vectors, you have to break up into their individual x and y components. Okay, so we need to make a triangle out of this vector. And you have to do that for any two-dimensional vector. Okay, because this has an east component and it also has a north component. And so I'm gonna draw out here my east component and I'm gonna draw out my north component. Okay, and so this part here, well we might say that this is uh, vector two, we'll say v two in the x, and this is v2 in the y. So there's vector two in the x, and there's vector two in the y. All right, so I split it up into the x and y components. Very important that you do that. Notice this is a right angle triangle. And so if I were to solve for the value of these vectors, we don't really know what they are yet, but we can solve for it. And so I would just write out vector two in the y, equal, so this is very important to be able to do this. This is a little bit of trigonometry, and we see that this is 10 degrees, and across from the 10 degrees is the opposite. So vector 2y is opposite of the 10 degrees, and so we need to use a little bit of right angle trigonometry. So hopefully you remember all of your SOHCAHTOA. And so what you gotta do is it's opposite, so that's uh, sine for opposite, and so it's five meters times the sine of 10 degrees. All right, so five sine 10, and then vector two y, or sorry, vector two x, is equal to five times the cosine of 10 degrees. And so I'm gonna figure out what these actual values are. Um, you don't have to, depending on the question, uh, then it will be different. Okay, so the first one is, I typed in my calculator, I get 0.8682. And the second one is 4.924. And those are meters again. All right, so the x component and the y component have been split up here using trigonometry. Very important that you can, uh, you can do that. 
Okay, and so now when I add the following vectors, you can only add vectors in one dimension. Okay, so only add vectors in one dimension. I'll write that down down here. Only add vectors in one dimension, or in, not one dimension, I guess the same dimension. Okay, so when I'm gonna add these two vectors, I'm gonna take, well, the sum of the two vectors, so my resultant is gonna be the three meter vector here, and the uh, so that's three meters there. So this is three meters. And this is going to be V2 in the X, which is 4.924 meters. So we added the two X vectors together. So we added three meters with V2X. And then we're doing the head to tail method here. So notice I did the tail of the second vector next to the head of the, th the first vector. And then now I'm also going to add on the, the Y component here. So I'm gonna add the Y vector. So V2 Y here, and which is 0 0.8682. And then my resultant that the answer is gonna be is gonna be basically using from starting from here and ending there, because I started here and I end there. So I draw one last arrow there. And there we have it, so there's a right angle triangle, and so this is the answer, whatever that is. And I'm basically gonna call this vector resultant. I'm gonna put a little R there. So vector resultant, the resultant vector of those. So first of all, we're gonna to need to figure out this angle here. We'll call it theta, and that value, uh, VR. So I'm gonna just scroll down here a little bit. And so what you're gonna do is basically to solve for VR, you're gonna use Pythagoras. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A and B are the two sides of the right angle triangle. And so A will be 7.924 meters uh, squared plus B, which is the other side, 0 0.8682 meters squared equals c squared. And so if you solve that, you should get c is equal to 7.97 meters. Okay, so this is the resultant vector, so I can write that up there, 7.97 meters. And then you need to get the angle, and so again, some trigonometry. So theta is equal to the inverse tan of the opposite, remember tan Sokotoa, opposite over adjacent, so 0 0.8682 meters, or divided by the adjacent, which is the total of these, which is 7.924. So 7.924 meters. And so I'm gonna get theta is equal to 6.25 degrees. So my final answer will basically be 7.97 meters, 6.25 degrees north of east. Now let's just make sure my significant digits are okay. Well, not really, I had the three meters and the five meters. Uh, if I were to do this question, I would have 3.0 and 5.0, but for the purpose of this question, uh, that should be good. Um, so that's how you add two vectors uh, one in one dimension and the second in two dimensions. So make sure that you split it up into the X and Y there.